Hi everyone, I'm Dave. Welcome back to Good For Model Railway. Um, it's not the same as the last layout. The last layout is gone. Uh, I've started all over again. So let me show you where I've got up to. So this is the new scenic section. Primarily, it is four main running lines and a main line junction. And that is all that is on display. So, as you can probably tell, the lamp has been constructed as a frame. It's the first time I've done that. And I'd use plywood wood for the base, which is the first time I've done that. Uh, the track is all laid. As you can see, uh, there's still quite a lot I need to do, such as the elevation on the curves. Um, the reason why I've done this is because I realised that what I get from the hobby is modifying, doing stuff to rolling stock, um, and actually I just want a scenic test bed to run things on. So the ground you can see is formed, uh, it will go above and below the track. Um, we've got Goodford Station here, which is a small station it's about six foot long uh, i'm not sure if i'll change that building uh, but that's the the main part of the station there you can see uh two tracks run through it and two tracks run round it and past it um, the main part of the layout itself is the fiddle yard so we just jump into the middle and i'll show you that bit so now I've crawled into the middle of the layout and to run through all the tracks is essentially a 22, I think 22, 21 or 22 road fiddle yard. So you've got six tracks, three on each line on the inner two tracks, which are just going to be passenger, maybe the odd, um, the odd little freight, but mainly just passengers. Uh, and then behind that is the rest of the video yard roads. So you've got three for each track, basically. Um, so you can see three for each of the secondary main lines and then three for each of the lines that come off of the other part of the junction there. So you can see you've got three lines for each. And then you've got uh, some smaller sidings, uh, smaller runaround loops there. Um, so there's plenty of scope to do um, run anything. At the moment, um, it's all manual. I think the plan potentially is to automate the two inner lines near the station. So these passenger lines have them on a schedule um, and they just run into, potentially through the station. Um, and they'll be done using iTrain. I've started working on it, but I need to work out where to put all the, all the sensors and the gaps in the track. Uh, and then I think for the outer lines, where I'll mainly be running freight, that'll be done using uh, ABC braking to stop the end of the tracks. Um, and yeah, and that'll just be done manually. Now, you might have seen there's a break in the gap scene here still. That is because I can't see what's going on. Uh, so last week I installed some cameras, which is a work in progress. Still a few more bits that I need to do, but you can see from that side of the room, uh, you can see most of the fiddle yard. I might install, I've got one more camera to install, but I might install another four as well, just to get close up to it. So this is the view from the middle of the room. You can see there the area which I sit in and run the layout from. So this is probably a good time for me to explain why I changed the layout. So basically I didn't like the fact that trains were running around me all the time. 
felt a bit unrealistic. Okay, it's good to have more scenic scope, um, but I just like the idea of trains running in front of me. Um, the fiddle yard was never big enough on the last layout. It wasn't long enough. Uh, so with this layout, I've got the scope to have longer trains. So you can see here, along with the auto balusters, um, and the JNAs on it, uh, and the 66 on front, it's a lot more realistic. Um, I have recently just discovered that actually I can run, well, most video yard tracks will allow me to have, as you can see here, you've got the uh, new lovely Acura scale FNA wagons on the back of a couple of 68s, uh, but I can run that behind another freight. So I can potentially have two trains on each fuel yard track. Now, how much I automate that and how I use the ABC braking and stuff, not really worked all that out yet. As I said, it's all a bit of a work in progress at the moment. Um, I've managed to get all my display cabinets back up again uh, with all the locos in, which is good. Uh, I think I'll be able to squeeze another one up on that wall there. Um, so yeah, and then the scenic area, so I'm jumping about a little bit here, hope you're not getting too dizzy. It's a scenic area here. Uh, we'll have a little road bridge. Well, there'll be a track which comes down to this. We've got this off a chap off eBay. Uh, so this is already done. Unfortunately, it's not my work. I'm not, <laughs> not quite as good as that just yet. Um, so yeah, managed to squeeze that in. Uh, and then that'll go to a, a little, maybe a small village scene on top of the hill there. Uh, and then the hill will run down to this road, which runs under all the tracks. And then the road runs up to uh, the station car park. And then we'll just have a hill on the left there. And then in front of the layout, um, you can't really see, but it's dropped down at the front there. And that'll probably just be an embankment. So the dimensions of the layout, uh, the room itself is 20 foot by 12 foot, the actual layout, I think, for the most part, up until that area there. Uh, it's The scenic area is four foot wide. Uh, and then this hill area here is, I think it's six foot. Um, the section to the, in the middle there, uh, is actually removable. Uh, so the bit you're looking at now is removable, so I can stand up in there and access all these areas that will be built into and scenery so it's all uh, been thought about so um yeah that's the new layout it's just uh it's just been a lot to do in a short space of time um so apologies for not doing any updates for a while just wanted to be sure about the layout itself um and what the plans were uh, before putting out a new video um so yeah look forward to hearing your feedback comments uh, i'm sure i've missed off loads of points on this um i won't do a running session today i just wanted to give you a an update on where we're up to uh, as you can see i've been testing out all the stock i've kept with the year 2020 um and all the stock is generally based around the southwest of the country uh, there's some nuclear stuff which probably isn't quite relevant, but for the most part, uh, I've tried to keep it around the sort of Dawlish area. Uh, I have thought about doing something similar to to the Dawlish area, but um, you don't get four tracks down in Dawlish, so I don't want to tie myself down too much to one area, but just to stop myself buying too much rolling stock, I've tried to uh, limit it to a specific area. Um, so yeah thanks very much for watching and um, yeah hopefully next update will come a little bit sooner and I'll be able to show you a few running shots um, and a few a few scenes of um, the trains running through the scenery again it's pretty lovely okay thanks very much take care and I'll see you guys soon